Hi my friends. Welcome to my channel. My name is Zita. Thanks for joining me today. On my channel I share with you the DIYs that I'm working on at the moment. This could be something I have on hand, something that I've thrifted, something that I've received for free. So let's get started and see what I've worked on this week. For my first DIY, I'll be making some stamped clay pots. So you'll need a bunch of clay pots, you'll need some ink, some stamps which I purchased from the Dollar Tree, I have some thrifted belts, I have some white paint and the paint I'm using is interior paint and I have my glue gun. So you'll see that I already gave them one coat of paint. Here I'm giving them their second coat of paint and that's all I needed for these pots. The interior paint kind of gives it better coverage than uh, the um, if you were using chalk paint. I find you need more coats if you're using chalk paint. And I wasn't going to distress these so I just used the interior paint that I had on hand. Here I'm going to start with the two larger pots and I'm uh, going to be using an old belt that I thrifted at a thrift store. So I'm just cutting the buckle off here and I'm going to wrap the belt around the top of the planters. So I just measured them out and give them a cut to where I needed to. And I'm using my glue gun to wrap them around the top of the pot. And one was a little too short so I had to cut off a little piece of the belt and put add it in. So 
So the smaller pots, I'm adding twine to the top. So I'm just holding it in place at the beginning of the twine there and then just starting to wrap it around and just giving it some glue halfway each time I wrap it. And as you can see there, I wrapped it around about five or six times. You can wrap yours around as many times as you'd like yours. And here are the small stamps that I purchased from the Dollar Tree. Here I'm just putting an elastic band around the pot to kind of just be able to line up the stamps. And here's my stays on ink in black. So I kind of just put the elastic where I wanted the stamps to start. So I put the stamps above the elastic, as you'll see. And I spelled out the words first with the stamps so they were ready for me when I wanted to place them on the pot. And I find for the stamps, when you're stamping them on the ink pad, kind of just tap them on the paper afterwards just to get some of that excess ink off the stamp. Or else it can get pretty messy as you'll see in one of my pots there later on. Here I'm just using my paint pen just to kind of touch up some of the areas on the pot that the stamp kind of went outside. Oh, that's the first one. <laughs> so who else knows someone in their life that that pot could be given to besides the cactus? <laughs> Here I'm just working on the second pot.
And as you can see, it's not completely straight, but I think that gives it that handcrafted rustic kind of look. There's the third one. Not too bad. Not completely straight, but that elastic band does help some. Right here, I'm working on the bigger pots and putting that elastic on again to help me get the stamps straight. And these stamps here, these are also from the Dollar Tree, but these are a little bigger than the uh, first set that I used on the smaller pots. And I actually found these a little trickier to use because the ink kind of was getting on the sides, so it, it was a little messy. But I cleaned it up with my paint pen or some paint from my uh, interior paint. As you can see, yeah, see there's, it's a little messy, so I had to clean that up with uh, my uh, paint pen, and I actually took a brush and used some of my interior paint right here. And there's the second one. Not completely straight, but that gives it that rustic look. And there you go. They look pretty nice. They turned out really nice, I think. What do you think? I think next time I make these, I would probably use my Silhouette machine. For my second DIY, I'm going to be working on a thrifted teapot and we're going to do a decoupage on this with some napkins. First I used some Fusion Ultra Grip on this piece so the uh, milk paint would adhere to the piece better. So I gave it one coat of this Fusion Ultra Grip and I actually let this dry overnight but you could let it dry for a few hours and then just, then just start on your milk paint or chalk paint. Before I paint it with my milk paint, I gave it a couple of coats of the white interior paint that I had on hand. I painted it with the interior paint just to avoid the bleed through from the print that's on the teapot.
And right here I'm using Miss Mustard Seeds Milk Paint and this color is Eulalie Sky. It's kind of like a mint greeny kind of blue. Beautiful color. And as you can see, there was no bleed through from the print on the teapot after I gave it two coats of that white interior paint. And I ended up giving this piece three coats of the milk paint to get the color I wanted. What do you guys think of the color? It's beautiful, isn't it? It's like a bl bluish green kind of. And here I've cut out uh, some napkins. These are the napkins. I got these from the Dollar Tree. And I did cut some of these flowers out and I also started ripping some instead of cutting them. I find if you kind of rip them gently with your finger fingers, it gives them a more natural look than if you just cut it. You'll see once I start applying it. And I use a Mod Podge to apply the flowers. And these brushes here, I believe, are from Walmart. These are the acrylic brushes, so they work really nice for decoupaging. So here I'm kind of putting them in place where I want them and I kind of work half and half. I decoupage from the center. Do one half, lay the piece down and then do it from the other side. Doesn't that look beautiful? I love it, I love it. Those pink and white flowers look really nice with that bluish green color. So just make sure you apply another layer of Mod Podge on top of your flowers once you get them all applied. Doesn't this look beautiful? I love this piece. For my next DIY, I'm just going to be decoupaging this small pot with a different napkin print. Here I'm mixing Miss Mustard Seeds Milk Paint and this is in the Farmhouse White. And you add one part milk powder to one part water. 
and just give it a stir until it's nice and smooth. And I gave this piece a couple of coats. So I wanted to distress this just a little bit. There it's what it looks like. And these are another set of napkins that I got from the Dollar Tree. And these are three ply napkins so you peel back the first two layers until you just get the printed portion. Here I'm just applying them with my Mod Podge. And these I cut out instead of kind of ripping them with my fingers. And I don't know, I think it's the edges are a little too sharp for my liking. So you'll see here that uh, I do end up changing this print and I add some of the uh, other floral napkin that I had on hand right here. This is the same print I used on the teapot so I added some of those because I didn't really like the uh, the way the napkins turned out on the other one. So I applied this one over the top and it turned out really nice. I liked it a lot better. I like this print a lot better. And this worked out fine guys by adding the second layer of napkins on top. The piece was already dry when I did this. So it worked out fine. The good thing about some of these DIYs, you can kind of fix it up to the way that you want it. <laughs> You'll see how this turned out. It turned out a lot nicer than the first print. What do you guys think? For my final DIY, I'm using an old pot from Home Depot that another flower came in. And right here, I'm gonna be using the Tim Holtz collage paper. And you'll need some Mod Podge for the piece. And the print that I'm using here is the entomology print. So I just cut it here in about three or four pieces just so it would fit easier on the piece. Just with the curvature of the pot, I found it was easier just to cut the um, collage paper in a few pieces. So because this piece was already light colored, I didn't bother applying a paint to it. I just did it quickly. I just applied some Mod Podge and then the collage paper.
What do you guys think of this collage paper? Do you guys like the print with the butterflies and the insects? I think it looks really nice. I'm not too crazy about the bugs, but I love the butterflies. And here I'm applying an antiquing wax because I thought that the collage paper was kind of a little stark white against the color of that pot. So I just mixed the antiquing wax with some water and I applied it with uh, old rag that I had on hand. What do you guys think? You think this antiquing wax blends it in a little better or should I have left it unwaxed? What do you guys think? Does it look better this color? That was a quick and simple DIY. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed all of these DIYs today. Let me know in the comments which one was your favorite. And give me a thumbs up and please hit that subscribe button for more DIYs. See you next time. Take care.